My name is Heather Fazio. I'm the director of Texans for Responsible Marijuana Policy, a broad coalition of organizations and individuals working to advance sensible marijuana policy in Texas. Folks have been rallying against prohibition for decades, and now we're finally starting to see headway being made nationally and here in the Lone Star State. Going into the 2019 legislative session, our priority policies include reduced penalties for low-level possession and making the Compassionate Use Program more inclusive. In Texas, in 2017 alone, we arrested 66,000 people for the simple possession of marijuana. This is unreasonable amounts of criminal justice resources going to arrest people and prosecute them for a plant. Our valuable criminal justice resources should be used to affect justice for victims of real crime. The vast majority of Texans want to see our resources utilized better, and that means not arresting people for small amounts of marijuana. Our state's current medical marijuana program is unreasonably restrictive in that it only allows those with intractable epilepsy to access low THC cannabis. This program should be made more inclusive for those with debilitating medical conditions and a doctor who thinks that the benefits outweigh the risks of using cannabis. We'd like to see the Compassionate Use Program made more inclusive in two ways. We'd like to see more patients having access, those with cancer, PTSD, multiple sclerosis. We'd like to see cannabis as a viable alternative to using dangerous and addictive opiates. We'd also like to lift the arbitrary cap that's been placed on THC, a very therapeutic component of the plant. Doctors and patients should be deciding what strains of cannabis and what levels of various cannabinoids are going to work best with their biochemistry and for their particular medical condition. In 2015, when Governor Greg Abbott signed the Compassionate Use Act, he was not supportive of any further reform. But earlier this year, during a televised debate, he made clear that he is open to working with lawmakers on not only reducing penalties for low-level possession, but he also talked about the very compelling arguments that advocates are making. What I would be open to talking to the legislature about would be reducing the, the penalty for possession of two ounces or less from a Class B misdemeanor to a Class C misdemeanor. Governor Abbott's shifting perspective on this issue gives us a lot of reason for optimism. It adds to our momentum and sends a signal to lawmakers that it's okay to have a conversation on these sensible approaches to marijuana policy. Just days after the election, legislators began introducing bills for consideration during the pre-filing period. The number one issue that bills were filed about was marijuana policy. We have more momentum now than ever before going into the 2019 legislative session thanks to the advocates throughout the state and over the years that have been doing work to educate lawmakers, to educate community leaders, and to mobilize themselves and others. The 86th Texas Legislature convenes on January 8th. We'll have 140 days starting at that point to pass meaningful marijuana policy in Texas, and we're going to need all hands on deck. That means everyone that cares about this issue contacting their legislators and working to empower their community to take action on this issue. When it comes to marijuana policy, there are a lot of conversations that need to happen with legislators, with community leaders, and with our neighbors, talking about how current policies are negatively affecting our lives and our communities. We wanna move forward with more sensible approaches and it means having those conversations time and again to ensure that folks understand the issue and that they feel confident moving forward as advocates themselves. Oftentimes, the folks that are on the fence about this issue are looking to you as a resource for how these policies are negatively affecting our communities and how reform is the right way forward. I want to thank you for your support of marijuana law reform. Going into the 2019 legislative session, we're going to need all hands on deck. That means everyone who supports marijuana law reform contacting their legislators, expressing their support of marijuana policy reform, and making sure that we're doing it in a passionate yet professional way.